All right, opponent's going first, but we do have a one and two, two drops and a three drop, and we have two mono uh, white mana to cast them. We're good. We'll keep this hand. Snow-covered forest. That could only mean one thing. Playing mono green. So we have two bright climb pathways. Let's get one of these on white. And then ultimately, I think the best choice is Sun Gold Sentinel on turn two because it has three power. It's going to allow our hopeful initiate to train twice if it's not interrupted. Sculptor of Winter. All right, now we have two blue white pathways, so let's get this down on black. Pack leader's tough. 3-3. Three, three. Blizzard Brawl, that. Alright. Then I assume attack for 3. Don't really have an option. We go Adeline here. To block the pack leader. Hopefully we can make up some ground with the interceptor with its lifelink capability here. Unless they invoke the Ancients on us right now. Raw Kemeth. Back, draw card from Pack Tactics. We block here. See if they play a spell pre-combat, we can intercept with the Obscure Interceptor, like that. We'll do that. And then as long as we don't die this turn, we can hit him back with lifelink. I like having another Interceptor, that's nice. Let's get rid of Mina Harker, time for that is over. So they can get through with the Frog Hemoth. We'll take the seven. Emperor is nice too. All right, white here. We keep the one one back to block the non trampler. We're gonna take six here no matter what. So we want the Obscure Interceptor to block, invoke the Ancients, or whatever big thing they're going to play. So what we'll do here is we'll go the Life Linker and Adeline, since it has Vigilance anyway. Might as well go here too. Bring him to three. End the turn. We want them to commit fully to attacking us and if they don't play anything pre-combat and they attack us we'll obscure interceptor or wandering emperor and just exile the frog hemoth oddity all right that means this comes in we may have to use that to block to gain some life here get rid of the aspirant we don't need it turn that to hand Two mana for a token. No attacks on their side. Interesting. Oh, uh, that makes it harder. I wish they would have attacked. So they have a 6-6 six, six we have to kind of try to take care of here. We don't care too much about the Ranger class or the Hopeful Initiate. We only have six access to six mana, so we can't elite spellbinder and then also wandering emperor. They have four blockers, so that if we attack here, they block say here. Of so two four twos, they block here and here, and then they block this here. They take one.
do this. They're going to lose one thing unless they double block. <clears throat> and if they double block, I think we're fine with it. Oh, okay. Spicy. I like that. All right, so then we're just going to chill. With a Wandering Emperor and two Life Linkers on board. Oddity, that's fine. And then they level this up. They're going to put a counter on something. We're going to flash in the Emperor and we're going to exile it, gain two life, and then we're going to hit back. And then that's probably going to be game. They're not attacking. So... That means we do this now. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. Put the I counter on the life linker. Okay. Counter here. We've got the edge in this fight. Okay. We're going in here and here. We're going to have a 5-6 and a 5-3 life link. They're going to have to double block somewhere to kill the life linker. If not, we'll just gain life. Oh, they can block this with a pack leader, actually, and kill it. That is perfectly fine with me. Okay. Now, before their turn, let's see what's in their hand. Froggy Myth. That will cost seven now, which they have. We're going to set a stop before their combat. We might destroy the Ranger class. But if they pump a bunch of mana into it, then we'll destroy it. Transform. Okay. 8-8 eight, eight and a 4-4. Four, four. Not too scared. Alright, got there. Cool. Mono green is big and scary, but lifelink goes a long way too. Good game though. Well played. Alright, opponent goes first. We have a one drop, we have a three drop requiring two planes. We have a three drop that requires one and an obscure interceptor. Interceptor shouldn't be a problem on turn four. We do have Rafine's Tower and a pathway to Deserted Beach, so we should be fine. The thing here is we don't have anything to do on turn two, so Rafine's Tower is going to be our play on turn two since we don't really care about it coming in untapped. We'll go Hengegate Pathway on white. Hopeful initiate turn two here, turn three here. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Okay, so now we do have a turn two play, but I think we're okay. They're, they threw down a white land, meaning Thalia here is probably not going to be super useful against them. I may have reconsidered playing... Um, or Fiend's Tower on turn one to have this on two if I thought it mattered, but I don't I don't think it will. Emperor in hand now, that's cool. That could turn the tides. Let's see, they didn't play anything one or two, so if they're mono white aggro, they're off to a bad start. If they're some sort of control where we've yet to see the second color, they could be still okay. Valkyrie. Okay, so they're angels. Um... I think Spellbinder's the best play here. We'll get rid of whatever they're trying to play next turn. Course Celebrant. Story Seeker, Life Link, Farewell, Dawnbringer Cleric. What are they trying to play next turn? They'll have four lands, so they want to play both of these, maybe. 
or Core Celebrant. We'll get rid of that. I don't think we're too scared of the Story Seeker or the Dawnbringer Cleric, really. They're getting five life there. They're gonna go to 26. All right, deserted beach. We're gonna chill. We're gonna hold up interceptor or wandering emperor. If they play another thing to gain some life and then come in at us, we're just gonna exile that righteous Valkyrie. And strike hard. What else do they have? Farewell. That costs six. I don't think they want a farewell right now. Let's focus on building up our board here. No attacks. If they want to kill the Emperor with the Valkyrie, that's fine. Probably. Or... Uh, we might block and just exile the Righteous Valkyrie. Why do they play Farewell? Like, they, they have tons of board presence that they want to protect. So, yeah, we'll block here. Sure, that decrease everything. To see you go. Yeah, we can't really attack. They have a lot of high toughness things. They do have farewell, which is going to cost them seven right now. So they can't play it next turn. So there's no use in holding Obscura Interceptor. Let's get Rafine out there to get some damage in the air. Fading hope something. Does that matter? Probably not. Let's attack. class is fine we have a little bit of life too you know I know they have 43 but we have 24 do we want to put anything back in their hand probably not all right in you go I think ultimately we do want the Fading Hope and Interceptor back. going to cost them seven level up the cleric class when they gain life traveling minister okay 
gain a bunch of life. They put counters on things. That's fine. We're trying to gain the board advantage here and then obscure an interceptor that farewell back to their hand and then kill them. So that's okay. They put all the counters on one thing. Perfect. Scry at land at the bottom. We're going to take two counters off of Rafine, and we're going to kill that cleric class. go in here and we're gonna have Adeline connive we definitely want the wandering emperor let's get rid of Mina Harker what do we want emperor or interceptor probably at the end of the day we want emperor I don't think they have any life gain payoffs right now. I think they just only have triggers. But we may be able to slowly grind them down here. Time Rafine's conniving. Get rid of that. Spellbinder and that. Or do we want Spellbinder to get in their hand? We'll keep the land. We'll take Spellbinder. Get rid of Aspirant. It's either Interceptor to, to return the thing to their hand, or it's Spellbinder to tax it away. I think we want Spellbinder because they don't have any creatures that can block flyers, so I think it's better to get rid of Interceptor and the land. That'll work. Valkyrie Harbinger. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sparring Regimen. Not a huge deal. Okay. We definitely don't want that flyer coming down. We have a serious threat in the air happening here. Teleportation circle. On that. What were they trying to teleportation circle? Harbinger? How many cards do we have left? 32? Send the initiate into. This card, five cards. All right, got there. All right, cool. I was worried for a second we were going to run out of cards. I'm like, we're going to be conniving like seven at some point, but we got there.
we uh able to get rid of that righteous valkyrie and stop the madness from happening good game though all right opponent goes first i do like that we have a fading open hand if we're playing aggro we do have two powerful two drops uh, one's better for playing against control and mid-range and one's just good all around so we'll see what we drop on turn two but we do have all three colors of mana we will need to probably draw another land here for Wandering Emperor on turn four. We might be able to cast both of these on planes. That's fine. We'll keep them. So obviously we'll get down blue first. Rebel Scum. I like that name. Star Wars fan. All right, let's see what's going on. Rafine as the avatar. Giada sleeves. Red. Rabbit battery. <clears throat> Interesting. There's Rafine, so we do want one of each color. So let's go blue here. We'll pass the turn. Set a stop before their combat. Dueling Rapier. Alright, I think that's grounds for us to bounce this to their hand. They're committing all in on, on fast aggro, so... Do we want this? No. We want another land. If they want to remove our creature... Let's tax them for doing so. And if they want to play a two toughness creature, then let's be able to first strike that. And Dueling Rapier only gives power. So Thalia is the best guess here. Best play. Really need one more land for that Interceptor. Rabbit Battery can't do anything. Alright. Not trying to be an ass, but I don't think they remembered that Thalia had for strike. This allows um, Thalia to attack, and we have a four toughness creature that they can't probably deal with. Let's get rid of Aspirant. We can make counters other ways. We don't need the Aspirant right now. Much rather have the Interceptor and the Emperor. They have two white here, which is interesting. So they may have some tricks up their sleeves. Valor's Stance, Ward 1, they're paying it. Okay. So then we simply keep attacking, and then we intercept whatever they're coming out with next. Which hopefully is a big thing. And then we Wandering Emperor and kill it next turn. Evolve the Imposter. Put a plus one, plus one counter and target creature. And then exile a creature with the greatest power. Yeah, we have him on the ropes. Let's just counter this. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of a land here. Put this back in the hand. Another Rafine, uh, music to my ears, but we might want to just chill for a second. Or do we lay down Rafine, let them recast that, and then smash? I think we smash on the life linker. We already played a land, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can channel that, though, for two. Because we have two legendary creatures, so that's cool. I like Dueling Rapier, too. I like this card. This is actually one of my pet cards. It's just... It's just, if somebody has cheap interaction, it just gets, like, out-tempoed really quickly. But I really like that card, and I respect the build. So I wasn't trying to be... I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm not clowning on them. I think it was cool. Good game. 